Hello and welcome to another installment um, on Enhanced FPS Template Kit and how we customize and add weapons to the weapon system. This time with a focus on completely redoing the weapons and added in our own with in particular focus on skeletal meshes and ant ones, uh, weapons that have animations pre-built in and how you go about using those with the, the pre-built weapon system. It's all very, very simple. Um, obviously this is a kit that's aimed more at kind of newer people to Unreal. So I'm going to go over a lot of the steps and in, in quite detail. So if you want to skip ahead to um, a mark, I'll put it in the description or up on screen to show you what time to skip to if you just want to see how to take your mesh once you've imported it and put it into the weapon system. But for now, I'm going to first of all jump into my animated mesh folder and as you'll see it's totally empty. So I've got this weapon that I got from Sketchfab. Um, so we're just going to rename that and we'll call it SKM uh, double barrel. There we go. So now I'm just going to drag that in. Okay, so we want to make sure that skeleton is, is non because we want to create our own. We want to make sure we import any animations alongside of it. And now we'll import that. And we should have our mesh, physics asset, skeletal map, and all that good stuff. And there we go. Now we've got our animation. So we can just go into this while it compiles the shaders. And we'll be able to see the animations for the weapon. There we go. Ain't that pretty darn cool. So now we've got our skeletal mesh in and our animation. That's all we really need, to be fair. But what I'm going to do is, it looks a bit slow, so I'm going to up the rate scale so it plays out a bit faster. Yeah, that seems about right. So we'll save that. So now we've got our weapon set up with skeletal mesh and everything. So what we're going to do is going to create a new folder in here, and we'll call it materials, and we'll set up the material for the gun. So we'll rename this, we'll call it mat uh, double barrel. Okay, so now we can grab that, open it up, and tuck it up there, and we'll open the materials, and we'll add a new folder in here, and we'll call this one textures. There we go. So now we can, we can go and get the materials uh, the textures to make our material. So normally when you download stuff like from Sketchfab like I have, you'll get these three materials. And we'll just drag those in. And then that will import all the various materials we need for our gun. So I'll just wait for that to happen and rejoin you when it's done. Okay, now that that's done, it's a good idea to rename these, um, keep a good naming convention. So I'm going to call this text, and this is the roughness. So rename text, double barrel roughness. And there we go. Now we've got all of our material um, texture set up. We can just go into... The material here but first of all i'm going to move that into the materials folder so it's in the right place we'll open this up and we'll sort the materials out so we're going to want a constant three vector so if we hold them they're not constant three vector a texture node so texture sample there we go and we'll just duplicate this a few times because we've got five textures to do so we'll just grab all of those and move them down like that and then we'll start here with double barrel so in the little drop down over here find your textures double barrel base plug it in and this is metallic so we'll plug that into the metallic then we need the roughness a little bit of rough there we go plug that into roughness and lastly, well, not lastly, but penultimately, um, ooh, it's, it's, about that. it's right there, staring me in the face. And we'll plug that in. We'll just grab this and move it down a little. And we'll plug this into ambient occlusion because we already know it's going to be the AO. There we go. So now we can apply all that. 
and we have our material made. So let's just get rid of the message log. We'll save all of these. Now, if we go back into our animated meshes and into our animation, we're able to see that that texture has now been applied to the weapon. I might actually up the playback speed of that a little bit as well. So let's, do, let's try three. Maybe 2.5, but he's a bit too fast. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm not going to fiddle around with that too much. It's about how to use it in the system, not about how to make it good. look good. This is just a demo thing, like a prop I downloaded just to show you this. All right, so back into firearms, into blueprints, and we've got our blank template here, and we've got our double barrel here. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm actually going to duplicate the double barrel because that's the one we're going to be um, we're going to be replacing. And if you look inside of it, it's pretty much identical to the template. Except we got a shell ejector system on the template. So if you wanted to have a shell ejection, you could do that. But we're going to have that built into the animation. So I think it is just a better idea to duplicate the double barrel. And we'll call it BP, FP, SKM, double so there we go so let's start editing so i'm going to take this and stick it up here and then i'm going to close the other double barrel down just so we don't um get them confused all right <clears throat> so we can basically get rid of all of this stuff here so we don't want to rack the slide anymore because we've got our own animations so we're going to get rid of the update location and rotation part of it because we can still use this as a timeline to control the uh, the length of time that it takes for the the gun to be available for use again so viewport uh we're back in our event graph all right no viewport yeah because we want to get rid of all these static models that we had and then we're gonna replace this so we're going to add a component and we'll call it skeletal mesh and we're going to make the skeletal mesh we're going to attach that to the skeletal mesh we're going to attach these to the, to the skeletal mesh we're going to delete the shotgun base and there we go all right let's add our double barrel in and it seems to be a little bit large. So let's scale that down. Let's try 0.5. And we'll see what that looks like in game. So let's bring it out. I'd still say that's a bit too large. So let's delete it. And we'll try 2.25. There we go. So that's probably more like it. Excellent. So now we've got our shotgun in, we've got the blueprint set up. We can work on the animations. So we've taken off the, the rack slide. We still want to play the muzzle flash and we still want to set whether or not it can fire. So we also need to play the animation. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this. Well, move it over, should I say. And then we'll get a reference to our skeletal mesh. We'll do play animation. And we'll pop that in there. And there we go. That should be it. We just need to choose the animation to play. And it was SKM double barrel anim. So that really should be all she wrote. So let's jump into <clears throat> let's jump into do, 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 start area so we can see this easier. We'll get a do, 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 pick up for the shotgun out. So weapon pick up and we want it to be two. I'm gonna skip the player ten rounds. And 
and we'll have the static mash be ah we need to make a static version of the double barrel so we'll just for now we'll just use the standard double barrel there we go sweet so now if we have a look what the old one looked like on oh, no, that made it just the regular shotgun so yeah if we make it look what the, see what the old one looked like when it was firing pretty lackluster and boring i think you'll agree so let's jump into the game instance and we'll replace the current double barrel shotgun with the new one we just made so if we jump into there and we go to get weapon info remember we define what weapons to use here so we've got a double barrel we'll just change that to skm double barrel and boom done so now there you go probably could do some work on the scale and the positioning of it so let's go ahead and see to that so where are we in the viewport okay so we kind of want to bring it down and forward so what does that look like i oh, see now that's much better and we also need to change the the sound effect as well And we need to up the time so if we jump into here and we go to the rack slide and we increase the length of time to 2.5 seconds that should stop us being able to fire it repeatedly and we'll also move it a little bit over to the left like that let's check that out There we go, that's much better. But obviously we can, from time to time, see the shells as they appear in on the, the right, so... Maybe... a scooch more. Alright, now, we need to sort out the muzzle flash. So, let's grab the muzzle flash. We'll bring that up. And I'd say... That looks about perfect there. And there you go. That's it. All the projectiles and stuff just work. Fires off the shotgun projectiles. We've got a lovely little animated shotgun. I mean, it just works. It's that simple. And if you notice at the bottom, it's kept all the weapon double barrel stuff and all the ammo type is all set correctly because the last time, because well, we just duplicated the original double barrel shotgun blueprint. So. And we've got our lowering animations, our raising animations. And it's all just good. I mean, obviously you probably want a better, a different model that didn't have the shells uh, showing as part of it. Oh, and now we've run out of ammo. Oh, very deary me. Well, I hope you uh, found that useful and realised just how easy it is to import um, a rigged and animated weapon and just add it right into the system. A little bit of fine-tuning is required because obviously each weapon is going to have different pivot points and different characteristics, different models. But yeah, it's that easy. So if you want to add a new weapon, just go do it. Grab one, download it. You'll have it in the game and working within, what was that? uh 15 minutes okay once you're happy with everything and it's all set up the last thing we need to do is inject a static mesh variant of it into the um the game instance so that when we set the pickups um we can actually set its preview mesh and it will get set to the right mesh in game automatically because you can see right now it's still using the old shotgun models we because it's a static mesh, we can't you just use the the double barrel models. But it's really easy to export a static mesh from 
a skeletal one. We just go into the SKM for it and we go to uh, save that first. Now we go to make static mesh and then we just set it where to go. So I'm going to put it into my weapons, my firearms, my meshes combined, and we're going to call it OBJ double barrel. OBJ being my prefix for anything that's a static mesh. So there we go, successfully converted the mesh. So now we can go into our meshes combined and you'll see, there we go, we have OBJ double barrel. So now we can change this to double barrel. And there we go. Now we've got it in our pickup system. And even if we were to, uh, but if we were to start playing now, it's going to divert back to this model because that's just the preview mesh. So we also need to go into the game instance. So we're going to the core blueprints, game instance, and then here where it says viewport mesh, we're going to change it from basic double barrel shotgun to double barrel. And there we go. That's it. So now when we load into the game, the pickup will actually be the right pickup. Then we can pick it up. It equips. We've got our lovely animations, all our pellets and our muzzle flashes and all that good lovely stuff. Screen don't forget the screen shake. There we go. And obviously we've set the timeline, so no matter how much I spam the mouse button, we can't fire again until it's finished reloading. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget this will be available for purchase very, very soon. So make sure to like and subscribe for more info and uh, I'll see you all next time.